The coronavirus death toll in China has soared past 360 with more than 17,000 infected. But officials say that preventing people from entering countries is unreasonable. It hopes that nations will make reasonable and calm judgments based on scientific facts. The WHO, meanwhile, praised China's efforts to contain the outbreak. And if it weren't for China's efforts, the number of cases out China, outside China would have been very much higher. And it could still be, but we have the opportunity now to work aggressively to prevent that from happening. The decision to declare a FIC was taken primarily because of the signs of human-to-human -human transmission outside China and our concern of what might happen if the virus were to spread in, in a country with a weaker health system. Our China correspondent Olivia Xiong joins us now. Olivia, China hitting back at countries that have banned Chinese travelers. So what can you tell us about that? Well, the foreign ministry made its comments as even more countries announced restrictions for uh, against travelers from China. And we have to note that the foreign ministry this time today was holding its daily briefing online as also part of its prevention measures. But it did not mince its words. It said that China hopes that other countries will make decisions that are reasonable, calm, and based on science. It pointed out that especially the U.S., response so far has it said has taken it said that the u.s has taken actions that spread fear and uh that create and spread fear instead of offering any sort of substantial assistance it also pointed out that the u.s was the first to suggest partial withdrawal of its embassy staff and also the first to impose a ban on chinese travelers and it said that the u.s in doing this and its actions was a, a bad example now the foreign ministry also said that developed countries like the U.S. with strong epidemic prevention capabilities and facilities have taken the lead in imposing excessive restrictions which go against the WHO recommendations and said that this is not what China needs. What it needs is more help for medical supply. Olivia, the strategy to tackle this outbreak changes daily. What new measures were announced today? Well, China has sought to allay some of the concerns that uh, residents have. For one, we know that the new portion, Shan Hospital in Wuhan, has begun uh, receiving patients this morning. And with 1,000 hospital beds, uh, this will help ease the shortage of beds in the city that has been hardest hit and is the center of this epidemic. And this hospital, as we know, was built in less than 10 days. Now, the second such new hospital, the Leishan Shan Hospital, uh, is currently under construction and will be built, uh, expected to be completed on Wednesday and will start receiving patients the following day. So that's on the medical front, but authorities are also saying that there is no need to worry about daily necessities, even as we have heard um, and seen more cities coming under quarantine or lockdown, uh, and there have been complaints about this, the hike in the prices of food and daily supplies. Authorities say that is being addressed. It also says that mass supply uh, is slowly starting to recover and that China has the ability to make 20 million pieces of masks per day. But it will take some time uh, for that to get back on track as manufacturers start to come back to work after the Chinese New Year holiday. Ali, how did authorities address some of the concerns that have been raised, especially with regards uh, to day-to-day -day needs? Well, you know, the officials have been talking about, you know, uh, uh, bringing in medical personnel as well. So we are seeing like the new, with the new newly built hospitals in Wuhan, uh, we will see 1,400 uh, medical personnel manning 
that hospital and this is said to be the largest mobilization of medical uh, forces from the Chinese army since that 2008 earthquake in Sichuan province. Now, when it comes to food supply, even though there have been concerns about, uh, you know, a, a shortage of food or the prices of food going up dramatically, authorities acknowledge that there have been problems that have emerged with the coordination of transportation, particularly with regard to the supply of leafy vegetables and in the replenishment of products. But it said that China is strengthening its measures to ensure the supply of daily necessities in especially Hubei province. But we will have to see how quickly authorities can move as this outbreak shows no signs of abating just yet. All right, my thanks for that. Our China correspondent, Olivia Xiao.